Newton Raphson method. In this method, we locate approximate real root of the given equation and then we improve its accuracy by an iterative process. The iterative formula to improve the approximate root is given by this. Let us suppose the first approximate root will be this. This is the initial uh, root which we have considered as uh, x0. We use this uh, initial root in this formula to find a next root that is x1. See here how we are getting x1. We get x1 from this if you take um, n is equal to 0. If you take n is equal to 0 here wherever n is there you will get x0. You will get x0 here. So we use this x0 value in this formula to get our uh, x1. Now we can um, use the value of x1 to find uh, x2. How do we get x2? Just replace x1 by x2. Here, replace x1 by x2 and x0 by next value x1 x0 by x1 so wherever x0 is there we are replacing it by x1 so this is how we got uh, x2 we can use this x2 to find uh, x3 how yes in the place of x2 we replace x3 in the place of x2 x3 then x1 will be replaced by x2 wherever x1 is there replace it as x2 so these are all iterative formulae which improves our root let us take a problem on um, Newton Raphson method. The problem is to find a real root of this equation correct to three decimal places. First, we need to find uh, what is x naught. What is x naught? To find x naught, we should know where the root lies between. What is the interval? What is the interval where x lies, where the root lies? For that, consider this as uh, f of x and go on putting the values of x. First, let us take the value of x as uh, 0 and check whether it is uh, negative or positive. Check whether it is negative or positive. If you put x is equal to 0 here, you are going to get minus 5 which is a negative. So next go for one more value. Let us take x is equal to 1 now. If you take x is equal to 1 in the RHS here, the answer you will get a minus 6 which is again negative. Continue this process till you get a positive value positive answer. So let us take in the place of x now 2. If you take uh, 2, you will get in the RHS the value as uh, minus 1 which is again negative. Now let us go for one more uh, value of x. Let us take uh, the value of x as uh, 3. Once you take x is equal to 3 in this place, you will get the answer as 
16 which is a uh, positive which is positive so we got uh, f of 2 as uh, negative and uh, f of 3 as positive that means that our root lies between 2 and uh, 3 our root lies between 2 and 3 because 1 is negative and 1 is a uh, positive f of 2 is a uh, negative f of 3 is a uh, positive so therefore our root lies between 2 comma 3 so we can conclude a root lies in 2 comma 3 now what is another observation now the question is whether the root lies uh, near to 0 or uh, near to 3 this is the question here you can observe here for that since this minus 1 is uh, near to 0 but 16 is not uh, so near to 0 so therefore minus 1 is near to 0 therefore we can take um, our uh, root lies near to near the value 2 first approximation so we have considered here it will be in, uh, in the neighborhood of 2 so we can take x naught as 2 why we are taking x naught as 2 because this minus 1 is uh, near to 0 not the 16 now let us um, apply the formula See, this is the formula for uh, x1 so put the value of x0 as 2 wherever x0 is there in the formula even here also if you put 2 in the places of x0 you will get this so we need to find um, f of 2 and f dash of 2 so for that let us first find f dash first let us find f dash so this is our uh, f of x as given in the question how do we find f dash yes differentiate f with respect to x what is the differentiation of x cube 3x square what is the differentiation of uh, minus 2x it is minus 2 and the differentiation of 5 will be 0 that is not shown here we got f dash of x also if you put um, 2 in the place of x in this function you will get f of 2 value which you will get as uh, minus 1 and also if you put um, 2 in f dash that is here if you put 2 in this f, f dash value the substitution is shown here if you simplify this using your calculator you will get the value of x1 as 2.1 get the value of x1 as 2.1 so next we go for uh, x2 how do we write x2 yes, as explained before replace x1 by x2 and x0 by x1 wherever uh, x0 is there replace uh, the x0 here by x1 since we know what is the value of x1 substitute the value of x1 in this formula you will get uh, this now the thing is in the function f you need to point you will need to put uh, 2.1 and in f dash you need to put 2.1 and simplify we have put um, x1 is equal to 2.1 now let us find f what is f of 2.1 and f what is f dash of 2.1 and uh, substitute here 
if this is um, f of x now let us put 2.1 in this here and 2.1 in this here and uh, find what are these so if you put uh, 2.1 here you will get this substitution if you put 2.1 in this you will get uh, this substitution and use your scientific calculator to find uh, this value which is x2 what do we get x3 yes replace x2 by x3 and x1 by x2 everywhere and similarly we put the value of x2 in this uh, formula in the place of x2 wherever x2 is there put the value of x2 and uh, simplification will be as earlier this is your f of uh, 2.0946 and this is your f dash this is your f dash and uh, if you use um, scientific calculator to simplify this you will get answer as this and you can observe x2 value and x3 value they are almost the same they are almost the same so once you get these uh, same roots any two consecutive roots are same then you can uh, stop the process you can stop the process so thus we conclude thus the required approximate root correct to three decimal places is zero uh, 2.095 that means we need to correct it to three decimal places till here how do we correct since this uh, digit is uh, greater than five you give an increment to this it will become five and then uh, neglect this six so that is what we have done here correct to three decimal places